Don't mind the elf ears. I'm getting ready to go to a holiday party. But that's not what you're here for. And if the title of today's video doesn't give it away, I'll go ahead and spoil it for you now. May 26th, 2022 was my last day on the Appalachian Trail. December 2023, Sydney was kind of curious to see if we could do the same mileage that I did back on the AT back in 2022. And so I set off with the intention of hiking 15.6 miles along with reflecting that last day on trail and what I could have done differently. Let's start with AT Sid and see how her morning started out. Leaving the Weary Feet Hostel. Just finished some breakfast. I got like halfway through breakfast and I was like, my stomach was like, ooh, no more. No more of that. And I still ate like a little bit more, but not much more. All right, so I was trying to mimic this last day on trail and uh, Sydney was eating breakfast at 7.37 a.m. It is currently 7.59 a.m. so I'm a little bit behind. My breakfast doesn't look quite the same either, but I'm hoping that that is going to be an improvement on last time. Mmm. Yeah, it's a nice day. Got some pretty good sleep. And uh, got all my stuff washed up, which is nice. Which was almost totally ruined this morning. <laughs> I was sitting there having my breakfast and um, somebody reached over and was trying to grab something and uh, knocked over a bottle of ketchup onto my cup of coffee and uh, spilled coffee like all over the table. It didn't get on my breakfast, thankfully, and it did not spill on me. So, very lucky in that case, but still, I was just like, oh my gosh, <sighs> that would have been a huge bummer. But it was also probably a blessing in disguise too, because um, I probably didn't need more coffee. Um, so I didn't get to finish that coffee, um, and I didn't pour more coffee because there was none, so. Um... All right, should probably be paying attention where I need to get back into the woods. I absolutely recommend capturing your hike in some way. Well then make sure your surface is a little bit stable because otherwise your gear might fall down. Ugh. Just kidding. Dismal Falls was 0.3 miles off trail, but worth the diversion. Forget to take the side trails sometimes. Because when you do, you'll find that there's some pretty fantastic things to see. Well, 9:23, so it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to go about two and a half miles. Not ideal, but. Um, the trail is just kind of mucky and gross today. Uh, uh. I did it. I beat AT Sydney's first hour time on trail. Granted, most of it was walking on the side of the road or sidewalk, so conditions will always play a factor when you're hiking as to how fast you can go so it's something you gotta keep in mind because you won't know what the conditions are likely until you get out there. The terrain looked 
pretty, pretty easy. The problem is this. Like, that's fucking deep, man. Urgh. And if I exert myself too much, uh, I start feeling a little bit ill. I figure I'd take a sit here for a second and try to drink my coffee beverage. See if the caffeine kind of wakes me up a little bit, get a little bit of fluids in me. Stop and eat if you're hungry. I'm probably about a mile from where I was planning on stopping and having lunch, but it's been a tough climb and I'm starting to feel hungry. And so I just stopped, grabbed a snack out of my backpack because I'll need the fuel to get up the rest of the climb. So sometimes you have to adjust your plans a little bit and listen to your body and eat. <laughs> Man, just was not looking to hike in fucking wet socks and shoes again today. So I was just passed by a slackpacker from the hostel last night going the opposite direction while I was uh, trying to gingerly step over a log that was placed in the center of a big pile of water and he's like don't bother doing that you've got a water crossing coming up and your feet are gonna get re wet regardless and I was just like okay I mean I've seen some shit today and it's whatever but this is what he was talking about My god. I'm assuming that's the trail over there in the distance. Can I like right over there? Suppose I should just get it over with. Mm. Oh, this is such a bummer, I don't want to. Well, there it is. Ugh. Where are we coming? Wash the mud off my shoes, I suppose. Not like it's gonna matter. Ah. Between the hours of 12 and 5 p.m., I gave up on recording. With the morning's breakfast not sitting right and the trail being varying levels of small stream to full on river, I was struggling. I took a midday break at Wapiti Shelter took off my wet socks and shoes to air out my feet, and forced myself to eat my Belvita crackers and peanut butter. I would suggest packing out some normal food from time to time. Make sure you're eating enough. I think this was my problem on this last day on the AT. I remember bonking pretty hard at the end of the day. I was probably like a mile and a half from the hostel. I just stopped and sat on a rock and started eating a little bit of a protein bar. But I was just wasted at that point. I should have eaten sooner. But sometimes you just push yourself a little bit too far. I was joined by Johnny Walker and Sunrise, and it was clear that the lack of sun and wet trail was getting us down. We were all planning on staying at Woods Hole Hostel for the night and wish we could just snap our fingers and be there already. Oh, I finally made it to the road that goes down to the hostel. 0.5 still to walk though. And to make things worse, of course, I did not beat the rain there. So yeah, today was not a good day. Hiking every day is tough. There's gonna to be some days where you're not gonna to want to. This day on the AT, El Cid was not feeling it. Ugh. Like, do I stop and take my rain jacket out? Does it even fucking matter? Ugh. I need, I need to relax. I need to rest. My knee was starting to feel like it was 
failing me. Backs of my ankles, my Achilles are just wrecked. I'm just genuinely tired of being wet all the time. My stuff smells bad. Boo! And that's okay. Some days you're just not gonna be into it. It's part of the through hiking experience. One of the through hiking experience. And I feel like I got a lot of different aspects of it. So, just how it goes. Can't be sunshine and rainbows all the time. I arrive at Woods Hole Hostel, greeted by best friend, who had arrived there earlier in the day. It felt nice to be done hiking for the day and around people once more. I attempt to get something to eat, but the change in temperature from cool to warm going into the house causes me to feel a bit faint, and I step outside for some fresh air. Another hiker, named Tumbles, whom I'd never met before, comes by to check on me, offering to make me a plate of food and bringing me a glass of water. It's moments like these that I look back on fondly and never want to forget, especially when I'm back in the real world and losing faith in humanity. If this final lesson that I leave you with is not the most apt of the lessons, and that is that you may set out with a big goal in mind that you may not be able to achieve. Now, like on the AT where I had set out to hike 2,190 some miles, I only made it 625. And similarly today, I had set out to hike the same mileage that I did that last day on the AT, 15.6 miles, and ended up short at 11.6 miles. Ultimately, I think the lesson to be learned here is that you just got to get out and try it. And then when you're all said and done, goal accomplished or not, I hope that you treat yourself like I am going to today and like I did my last day on the Appalachian Trail back in 2022 by taking a nice warm shower, enjoying some good company and some delicious food, and then just being cozy and relaxing for the evening. You did good, and now it's time to relax. It's time for rest. And there we have it, my last day on the Appalachian Trail, sprinkled in with what will probably be my last hiking day of 2023. There will be one more video in this AT series to wrap everything up. My last few days in Virginia, saying goodbye to best friend and Dipper, and making my way back home. After that, I plan on having a couple of filler series on the channel, some hiking, some not. And I'm hoping to have an announcement on my summer 2024 plans here in the next few weeks. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had an awesome 2023 and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Covered in spider webs this morning. It's not ragged, it's pretty clutch. Definitely have one of these.